Hey, and welcome to this video for calculating income tax. Uh, my name is Rob Field, also known as the FI Educator Online, and this is from my Calculate Income Tax resource on Teachers Pay Teachers. If you have these tax tables in front of you, you are probably using my Calculate Net Pay resource also on Teachers Pay Teachers. Uh, you can find both of those at phieducator.store if you are looking for them. All right, what we're gonna do today is a income, state income tax for Virginia. Uh, just a reminder that this is not intended for tax information purposes. If you have questions about it, please consult a CPA. This is for education and entertainment purposes only. All right, let's get started. So we are going to do a salary of $100,000, not because like that's an average income or anything like that, but just because it's a nice round number. It lets us go through a bunch of brackets to show off what the brackets actually look like for the state of Virginia. So if we take a look at the tax tables, and if you have these from the Calculate Net Pay resource, great, we can look at those. If you don't have them, go on to Google, Google Virginia State Tax uh, Income, sorry, Virginia State Income Tax Tables, and look for maybe like the Virginia government website or maybe NerdWallet, typically has really nice, easy to read um, tables that you can look at. Virginia has a progressive tax system like our federal system. So they have one, two, three, four, um, brackets that they do for progressive tax for. The first two are pretty small, so $3,000 and so $3,000 and $2,000, then it goes up to $12,000, and then pretty much most people living in Virginia, I'm guessing, are paying in this $17,000 plus um, bracket. So it's like if you are a low-income earner, you might be in the smaller brackets, but most of us will be paying 5.75% um, on our income in Virginia. All right, so getting started, we need the salary that we are beginning with. We have a state standard deduction. And I look at my tables again. This one has Maryland and Virginia on it, so just make sure you're looking at the correct one. Virginia is 8,500 for someone who is filing single, which is what I am doing for this demonstration. So we have 8,500, which you are allowed to earn without paying any taxes on it. One thing I will probably add in the near future is a box in here for traditional contributions to an IRA or 401k or some retirement vehicle. So something that is allowed to reduce your taxable income. Just because some states do allow you to reduce your taxable income if you are contributing to a retirement account or maybe something like a 529 plan. And some states do not. You do have to check each state individually, but Virginia is one of the ones I believe that does allow you to deduct it. We're not gonna do any traditional contribution for this video, but if you are dealing with that, just make sure you do subtract it out to get your true taxable income for doing the rest of the brackets. So 100,000 minus 8,500, we're gonna have 91,500 left over. So then, our taxable income comes down here, so 91,500. And we're going to look at the first bracket on our table. So the first one for Virginia, filing single, holds $3,000. So your first 3,000 goes into this bracket. We have more than $3,000 of taxable income, so we're going to fill this one up completely. So we're going to put a full $3,000 in here and the rate for this one is 2%, so you would multiply by 0.02. If you're not familiar with how to get that, I'm taking 2%, I'm dividing it by 100 because percentage is scored out of 100, and that is the decimal that you would multiply number by if you're doing percentages. So I have 3,000 times 0 0.02, which is $60. Now we've taxed this $3,000, we've paid taxes on it, we're done, we don't wanna tax it again, so we're gonna subtract that from our taxable income. So the 91,500 minus the 3,000. So 91,500 minus 3,000 is 88,5. This bracket, so we go back to our table once again, holds from 3,000 to 5,000. Now, what I normally do is I just subtract the two numbers, but since this one is showing the first dollar, look at how much you've taxed already. We've taxed 3,000 already. 5,000 minus 3,000 is 2,000. That's how much this bracket holds. 
88 is still way bigger than that. So we're going to put the full 2000 in. And this one is at 3%, so 0 0.03. And 2000 times 3% is $60 again. So now 2000 has been taxed, bring it down. 88.5 minus 2000 is 86,500. And the third bracket holds 5,000 to 17. So that's 12,000 total when you subtract those two, when you get the difference. Still much bigger than 12, so we're gonna put the full 12 in. And this one is at 4%, so 0. Oh, sorry, 5%, 0 0.05. And multiply those two out, you get 600. So then 12,000 has been taxed. So we have 74, 500 left. And now this bracket is the last one. There's nothing after this, so the remainder of your money is going to go in here. So we would say the max amount is infinity, like there's no technical ceiling to what this can hold. And we're gonna put the full amount in here. So 74,500. So in Virginia, I would say most people reach the highest tax bracket. So whatever amount of money is left gets taxed at this amount. And this is at 5.75%, so 0,575. So I got 74,500 times 0.0575. I got 4283.75. So then all that's left to do, we have no money left. It's all been taxed, so we have zero left. Rest of the brackets aren't needed. This is a generic um, income tax sheet for any state. So some have more brackets than others. And we've got four boxes that we filled in taxes for. We're gonna add those together to get our total taxes O. So we have 60 plus 60 plus 600 plus 4283.75, and we get $5,003.75. Okay, so you have seen a what a Virginia state income tax return um, calculation would look like. If you want to find this resource, check it out on Phi Educator's TPT page. So that's phieducator.store. Thank you so much. Please leave any questions in the comment section below or send me an email, thephieducator at gmail.com.